Hello everyone, I'm Ben. Today we're unboxing an RTK base station. Let's take a look at what's inside. All right, as we open it up, we can see a piece of paper filled with text. This should be the product manual. Here we can see that it lists the accessories, so this is the accessories checklist. Now let's see what's inside. First, let's take a look at this white circular object. This should be the antenna. Take a look here. Next, we see this cable here. Not sure what it connects to yet, but we'll check later to see what it's for. Inside, there's a small black cable. This is probably used for charging. Now let's take a look at this box. It's labeled here, and it says this is the base. Let's open this box and see what's inside. Here, we can see something that looks like a screw. We'll check later to see what it's used for. And here we have a circular object, a metallic disc. It's labeled here, and this is the installation base. Here, there's a cylindrical object. Take it out and have a look. This is probably used to connect to other parts. We can check later where it connects. Here, we have a small black piece. This is likely the antenna that connects to the signal source. Finally, let's take a look at this item. This metallic rectangular box should be the base station's main unit, the central hub of our base station. So these are all the items included. Here, let's introduce the names of the items included. User Manual, GB10WB, USB Data Cable, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Antenna, 10-meter cable for antenna, Multi-band high-precision external antenna. Now let's start assembling our product. First, here's the base. Hmm. And it looks like we need to attach the stand to it. So here we have the stand. Now let's take a look here. This hole is smaller, so we need to use the thinner part of the stand. Let's screw it in first. Once we've screwed it in, next we'll connect the antenna. The antenna has a hole at the back, and we'll place it on the larger hole here. Similarly, we'll screw it in. Be careful while screwing it in. Next, there's a protective cover under the antenna. We need to remove it. Sorry, could you help me? I can't get it off. Thank you. Once we remove it, there's a hole here. Now we'll need a cable. It looks like not this one, but this one instead. There's a metal connector on the cable, which we can attach to this hole here. Let's secure it tightly. Here, on the outermost part of the protective cover, we need to remove it as well. Remember, it has a gold connector inside, so don't twist it, just pull it off. Here, we have the base station, and on the back, there are two holes. One is labeled Bluetooth, and the other is labeled RTK. We need to connect this cable to the RTK port, so let's first remove the protective cover. Attach the metal connector to the RTK port. Once it's connected, there's another port labeled Bluetooth. We need to attach the Bluetooth cable to this port. Similarly, remove the protective cover and connect it. The assembly is complete.
All right, let's give it a try and see how to set up this base station. First, we need to power it on. Once it shows this blue light, that means it's powered on. Now, let's give it a try and use this manual to set up our device. Here's an important note. It only supports Android phones and Android tablets. Supported versions, devices running Android 10 or above. Please scan the QR code provided in the manual. Once we scan and enter the link, we'll be directed to the app's webpage. From there, we can click the installation button. After the installation is complete, we click open. Open the app, and a prompt will appear asking for permissions and to enable certain features. Please allow all of them. Tap the Bluetooth icon on the home screen to open the Bluetooth settings window. Once you're in the Bluetooth settings window, select the Bluetooth of the base station you want to connect to. After a successful connection, you'll return to the main screen. The Bluetooth icon at the top will turn green, indicating that the Bluetooth is successfully connected. Next, we'll begin setting up our Wi-Fi. Here's an important point to note. Our Wi-Fi must be 2.4 GHz. Make sure to keep that in mind. Then tap the Wi-Fi icon to open the Wi-Fi settings window. Once you're in the Wi-Fi settings window, you can either directly enter the SSID name you want to use or select the SSID from the list. Then, enter the password. Once you've entered it, click Update GB10 Configuration. A window will pop up asking if you're sure. Select Yes to confirm. Once this icon appears, it means the connection was successful. Next, tap the icon in the top left corner that looks like a document and enter it. Let's check if the Wi-Fi is properly connected. If it shows yes next to the Wi-Fi, that means the Wi-Fi is successfully connected. Now let's move on to the next step. First, return to the main screen. Then it will ask you to tap the icon that looks like a power tower. So click on the icon at the bottom. Once you enter the base station settings window, information like the IP address will appear. Since all the details are already filled in, it seems like they've been preset. In the top right corner of the screen, there's a question mark icon. Tap it and you'll be able to see some information about Onokoi. So, if you're unsure about any settings during the setup, you can tap this icon to check the information and confirm if your settings are correct. Go back to the previous page to see the mount point and password. To access it, return to the home screen and open the browser icon. Choose either register Onokoi or login to Onokoi. For detailed instructions on how to register, you can refer to the official Onokoi website. Since I've already registered before, I'll choose login to Onokoi here. After we log in, this website will appear. If you are using it on a computer, you can select the References Stations option at the top. Since we are using a mobile device, we need to select the drop-down menu in the top right corner. From there, you will find the Reference Stations option. Just tap on it. After clicking in, look for the Create Reference Point button and select it to start creating a reference point. To the right of Reference Stations, there's an option labeled NTR IP Credentials. Click on it to check the details. Here, you will see an Add New Credential option. Click on it to add a new mount point. A password setup window will pop up. We can create and set our own password. Follow the instructions in the manual and simply enter Test as the deception. Then, select Save. Once created, a string of letters will appear, which is the reference point for the new base station you just created. The next step is to copy the reference point. Then, go back to the GB10WB app and paste the copied reference point into the mount point field. For the password, go back to Onokoi, swipe right to find the password section, 
and then tap the eyes icon to reveal it. The password will be displayed. Simply tap the copy icon to copy it. Go back to the GB10WB app and paste the copied password into the password field. After entering the password, scroll down and select the default value for MSM. Finally, click Update GB10 Configuration. A confirmation window will pop up asking if you're sure. Select Yes. After completing the setup, you can also click on the document icon in the top left corner. You can check whether Wi-Fi, GNSS, and base station settings all show yes. If they do, this step is complete. Now that the base station is all set up, the next step is very important. The manual says the device needs to be reset, and the reset button is located on the back of the base station. There's a black circular dot here. According to the manual, we need to press and hold the reset button for one second to restart the GB10WB. After holding for one second, we can return to the Onokoi browser. Then, tap on Reference Stations and you should see the reference point we just created. Click on the mount point you just created. Scroll down to view all the information. If the status shows a green light and indicates that data is continuously uploading, it means the GB10WB setup is complete. And that completes the setup for the GB10WB. See you next time. Goodbye.